Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video and as usual I'm going to show you what has entered the collection this week. Um, it was a pretty, uh, not a very interesting week as far as store finds go, um, but it was a pretty interesting week with trades and some stuff that came in that was on pre-order and uh, an R.A.O.K. box. So. Wrath of Bod, first of all, sent me that REOK. -okay. We're just going to take a look at a couple of the pieces he sent me close up because I didn't show anything close up in the, uh, the video where I unboxed it. So just a quick recap, he sent me some basic majorette stuff, and uh, including this cool uh, VAM that has a sliding door. So I'll show you that up close in the second half here. Um, so there were those. Um, I got my pre-orders in from a and Toys, which you did see the unboxing, or if you watched it, I did post an unboxing of these VW Double Cab Camper. Um, I got the set of three, and we pulled a raw chase in that video. Sorry to spoil it if you haven't already seen it, but it happens pretty much right in the beginning of the video anyway. Uh, but uh, basically... I lost the coin toss. Todd and I split this inner, and we were going to toss a coin if we got a, cho a chase. He flipped it. I called heads. Wah, wah, it was tails. So he got the raw. So pretty cool, though. I mean, I just really wanted this set anyway. I, I know I don't normally go for M2s, but um, I just thought this one would be neat, and it wasn't priced very high for an MJ thing, and I don't know. It was pretty cool. So I think what we're going to do is I'll open just one of these, We'll probably open this one and just take a closer look at this casting. I believe they're all 1959. Yeah. Yep, so they're all 1959s. It's all the same casting, it's just different colorways. So we'll take a quick look at uh, this one, I think, will be the one that we'll, we'll... I'll open up and I'll unscrew from the base and we'll roll it around a little bit. So there is that. Got those. And then also from a &O Toys, where this pre-order came from, I had pre-ordered another set of the... Ford GT40 Miho exclusive vehicles, this black one and the Golf one, which um, I cracked the Golf one in a previous video because I already have a set of these. I had a set of them. Now they're, I have both of those are loose now. This one is carded, and I was supposed to get another Golf one carded, but they back ordered them for him, so he didn't get those in, unfortunately. And I guess we're not really sure if he's gonna get them because. That means I think that they oversold, uh, Miho oversold them to hobby dealers, other hobby dealers. So he might not get his order. He ordered 24 of them. So anyway, I was able to get this one. And then he also pulled out of that case one of these. Yeah, baby. This is the ultra red of that Ford GT40. Um, he sold it to me for a decent price. I did have to pay for this, um, but I definitely wanted it. And he showed me a picture of it. I'm like, oh, man, I got to have it. And uh, he gave it to me for, for a pretty good price. And then I got it home, and I realized there was a major kind of, like, flaw with the casting. And I'll show that to you up close. But basically, this A-pillar right here is, like, dented. And uh, it's pretty unfortunate. I mean, the car looks great from far away. But when you get up close, you can see it might be put together a little weird. So... We'll take a close look at that in the second half here. Um, and then a uh, local guy, Jeremy Bolter, um, good dude. He, um, I had pulled a White Lightning, uh, what was it, Dodge Charger, and he wanted it um, badly. So he said he would trade me for it or wanted to trade me for it. I said, yeah, I'll give you a shot at it, whatever. And then he just traded me this green machine, which is pretty sweet. And I think, yeah, we're going to crack this one. And I'm going to open this one up and put it with my VW display. And then he also gave me this red tire chase of this VW hitch and tow, which is pretty cool. Which I think I'm going to leave this one in the package for right now, just because basically I don't have room for another hitch and tow to put on display loose. And the red tires don't really get me as far as, I don't really care for them too much but I guess these are pretty rare the red tire ones are supposed to be like a half a percent or something like that 
Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're a, more rare than a standard green machine. So I may just keep this thing carded or keep it on its package. Um, this one, though, we'll go ahead and we'll open that up. Um, so that is pretty awesome. And then he threw in a bunch of a, little, a couple extras here, a couple Zamax. We're going to crack all of these and take a look at them in the next video. Or next video, next half of this video. So 240Z, Skyline, and the Camaro. And we'll crack those suckers loose. And then what was really awesome is he made me basically this set of like three customs. And we're going to show these close up probably at the beginning of the next video. The paint job on these is really cool. So this is a VW truck, a recent one from Hot Wheels. Put some real riders on it, painted it this color. And we'll look at these close up here in a second. Um, this sweet Porsche. And then this cool hauler, like flatbed hauler kind of thing to go with the Porsche. So the Porsche will sit on that. And it's pretty awesome. So we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at those. Thank you so much, Jeremy, for throwing these in. Um, just blown away by that. They're great looking customs. So I shared them to my Instagram and I don't know, it's at like 250 or so likes, which is more than I normally get on average posts. So definitely pretty cool. Um, then I also got some hobby exclusive stuff. I got an order in from 3000toys.com and got the hobby exclusive Impalas. Both the, these are both the 1966 in white and the 1966 in this, uh, oops, sorry, I'm holding the wrong cars up. Oops. 1966s are right here, the black one and the blue one. We'll take a closer look at those in the next half here. Got the 19, sorry, that's the 1960, that's the 1970. This is the 1966. Whoops. Anyway, 1966 Impala is this one. We'll take a close look at those, just one in white, one in black. So these are hobby exclusives. They're limited to 1,248 pieces each. Okay, so here's your 1970. All right, so we're going to take a closer look at those in the next half. And then I also got the Hobby Exclusive Special Edition 2017 Ford Mustang GTs. And there's a cool update to this casting. Yes, it was just in a recent release. Um, but there's a cool update with the headlight tampos, and I'll show that in the next half of the video. And other than that, I did find at a Target up in Green Bay, or not Target, sorry, Meyer up in Green Bay, they were blowing out these uh, clamshell auto worlds and they only had two of them left two old 442s and I got them for three bucks a piece I don't know saw them for three bucks couldn't pass them up I already have two of this one and I'm pretty sure I might only have one of this one I think I have one loose and I don't have one carded so maybe I'll just keep that one this one is definitely an extra uh, so there's that if anybody needs that 442 I guess let me know and then um, we'll pop open a couple of these green light. These are just uh, two black bandits that I had hanging up on the wall that I don't really have a spot for. So I'm just going to open them up and we'll take a look at them. One's the Fuel Alter Dragster and the other one is the 87 Ford Mustang. So that's it for this portion. Per usual, we'll flip this camera around and take a close look at some stuff. All right, so let's start by taking a close look at these cool customs that were given to me as extras in a trade from my buddy Jeremy Bolter, who's a local collector here. Um, and these are just awesome, dude. He, he made, um, all of them have the same paint. And I don't know how well this is going to be able to translate on video, but uh, it's one of those color shifting paints where it like turns from purple to blue depending on what angle you look at it so if you look at it like straight on you get blue if you look at it at an angle you get purple so just did an awesome job on these the paint job is really really smooth and good um, did some detailing there detailing on the back got some real riders really cool so there's that first one and then this one's probably my favorite this Porsche looks awesome and um, check out the pictures of it on my Instagram. So this is done in that same paint. And then he's got these blacked out. He must have painted these uh, rims. Uh, pretty cool, man. The, in uh, some detail there. And then one of the coolest things is you're not going to be able to see this probably on this camera. But if you check out the pictures on Instagram, he hand painted this little Porsche logo here. And it actually looks really um, 
good for that small. I mean, it's crazy. So really good job on this one. And um, painted some of the interior too. There's some interior detail, just really cool. It rolls really well. Um, the wheels look really good on this casting. I just think this looks awesome. So great job on that, Jeremy. And then he did this um, little like flatbed here, which I should have brought out what this originally was. Um, basically, these originally would have a trailer on them. They're an older Hot Wheels product. And uh, basically, he took the trailer off and then painted it that awesome color, that color shifting effect. And it just looks great with, as a trio with the... Uh, these you can put that Porsche fits right on the back there that looks awesome and then uh, you get your VW there too so really really cool thank you so much Jeremy for providing these extras um, just sweet looking customs thank you so much for that so there's that and then uh, that REOK -OK I got earlier in the week just wanted to take a close-up look at basically this van the sliding door I think that's the awesome i have one other matchbox casting i think has a sliding door that's the only other one i know of in sort of 164 scale a van with a sliding door so i think that's a really cool opening feature this is more of a premium majorette it's got suspension it's got a little trailer hitch to it detail front and rear um lens detail in the front and then um, he also gave me a couple of basic majorettes which here's these three and the basic majorettes are okay. I really don't think the proportions on this Lambo are really great. And this definitely needs better wheels. Um, I think that looks pretty goofy. I, this casting is available in the U.S., I believe. And I think I've passed it up. I don't think I got one. And then uh, this Porsche, though, looks really nice. The wheels look pretty decent on it. So these are the very basic majorettes. There's no suspension, no opening features, painted details. Um, and then this Audi R8 looks okay um pretty plain looking the um and the wheels kind of suffer on this one too so could possibly spice it up with some some better wheels um the audi r8 that's out now in the premium line or whatever of majorette that's in the united states actually looks a lot better than this casting but this casting still looks pretty cool um so thank you wrath of bod for that and then um he also gave me this, which is some off-brand that I'm not even sure what it is, but it's a little uh, Canton Fire Department. So it's pretty interesting to get this from somebody in the UK. So that's kind of weird. And then there's that, and then uh, this guy, which this thing's kind of interesting. This is a BMW. Um, this is, what is this? It's a... Uh, real toy, which this is the only real toy I've ever had in my collections. It's kind of close to 164 scale. It's probably pretty big for 150, 164. It's 158. And it's just kind of an interesting brand I've never had in the collection before. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, pretty basic, plastic base, metal body, painted details. Wheels are eh, so-so. But looks pretty cool. So there's that. And let's see, what should we look at next? Let's quick look at this... Uh, VW double cab camper. So here this is from M2. Went ahead and opened one up. As most M2s, it doesn't roll very well. And wow. Yeah, and there's something up with this one, how it was put together, because it's really leaning to uh, the passenger side major. So I could probably fix that, I'm guessing, by taking it apart and putting it back together, which unfortunately it seems that you have to do with some M2s to get them to, and I think I already know why, why there's a problem, just looking at the back of this, something to do with how the bumper is attached in the back here, I think it's preventing one of the corners from going in all the way, anyway, I'll have fun with that, trying to fix that. <clears throat> But uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's leaning to this corner, which makes it look kind of goofy. A lot of detail in it, though, and um, it's not very heavy, though. This is metal. The base is metal. This whole camper top thing is plastic. So that's all plastic. There is no opening part on here, which is actually, I think, good. And... Um, it still looks really cool. I'm definitely going to have to fix that, though. Oh, that's leaning to the side. 
So, we're going to have to fix that. And uh, that's going to be it for M2. Next, let's take a look at some Auto World. So here is, speaking of quality control issues, here is an Auto World Ultra Red, which I was very psyched to get in my collection. And, dang, see that pillar right there? Can you see that right there? It's like totally dented in. Like this thing was put together hard. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Uh, Will offered for me to return it to him, and I said, no way, I don't want to return it. I want it in my collection. I mean, I guess it's an error if I keep it in the package like this, but I kind of did want to crack one. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I may actually contact round two and see if they would replace this in any way, if that's even possible. I guess it doesn't hurt to ask. The worst they could say is they can't do it or it's not possible and it's not a big deal. Um, but I suppose I might as well ask and just see what happens. And uh, that was uh, Travis, uh, Heavy Metal 164's idea to just, you know, give it a shot. And uh, I think I might, and we'll see what happens. I'll report on that um, later on. But other than that, this Ultra Red is absolutely beautiful. It's the best looking one for sure out of all of the uh, Ultra Red 4 GT40s. I think this one's definitely the best looking one. So there's that. And next we'll take a quick look at um, these because I'm not cracking them. So, all right. So there's the Mustang in black. Here is the Mustang in a, kind of like a grayish silver and you see the headlight tampo there well here's the ultra red from 2017 release one and you see the headlight tampo there oh, it's just plain silver so they definitely updated that tampo and it does make a lot of difference and the, the look of the quality of this uh casting having that look more realistic so that's pretty awesome uh, so good job Auto World for adding that. Um, so yeah, two Obby exclusive Mustangs there. Um, maybe I'll crack them in a future video. I'm not doing it today though. And then a quick look at these Impalas. This is the 1970 in this very nice looking blue. And then in black. They seem to be doing a lot of the hobby exclusives making black cars in the hobby exclusive. Mm -hmm which is fine with me. I really like their castings in black. I think they look great. And a few brands that the detail just doesn't really get lost. It just looks awesome. Here is the 66 Impala in white. Looking okay. And then here is the 66 Impala in black pretty sweet. I think it actually would be really cool to do a display of just all black Auto World cars. Maybe on one side and then all ultra reds on the other side or something like that. But anyway, dig black auto worlds. They look really cool. All right, so next up, let's crack uh, let's crack three Hot Wheels. I think the last thing we're going to do in this video is crack that Green Machine bus. We'll end with a bang. Um, Dotson 240Z, Zamac. This is from 2013. I was not collecting at this time. And we're going to go ahead and open it up. This was an extra given to me by Jeremy Bolter. And I love the 240Z casting. It's one of the Japanese cars I do collect. And um, I just think this casting is awesome. And I love this car in real life. I think it's just a cool looking car. And uh, cool to have the Zamac. So I didn't have this one. And now it's in my collection. Loose. Awesome. So there's that. And then he threw in this cool Camaro. This is kind of an interesting one. Hot Wheels Blue Team. It's kind of cool because it's got crazy clear blue wheels. And then Hot Wheels logo. I just thought it looked really cool. So that is really cool. Thank you, Jeremy, for throwing that in. And then this one's pretty awesome, too. The Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Didn't have that. These are all, I think, from 2013. I didn't collect at that time. So did not add these to my collection. And it was pretty cool for him to give these to me. So really nice detail on the back. Awesome to add that to the collection. All right, so that's it for Hot Wheels. Next, let's quickly crack a couple of Black Bandits. We're going to open up this 87 Ford Mustang. Which there that is. This is from Black Bandit Series 11. And it looks pretty cool. This is the only one of these castings I have in my collection. Uh, it's cool. Hood opens. 
rolls good. You get uh, this one's a cool casting because you get lens detail on the rear, um, and then you do get lens detail also in the front. The headlights do look a little wonky, like the inserts weren't quite placed in very well, um, but still overall it's pretty nice. Light bar on top. I think it's a pretty cool looking little Mustang there. So dig that, and uh, let's see here, then we got this, where did it go here, Fuel Altered Dragster, this is from Black Bandit Series 14, and this was just an interesting little green light casting, so I had to get it, pick it up when I saw it in the store the first time, and might as well just crack it loose. I don't think a lot of people like this casting, but I think it's a pretty cool little casting. You know, it's, it's a little guy. It's a little thing, but, um, I mean, even compared to this Mustang, it's pretty short and small. Definitely, it's a one-seater, so, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it looks awesome. You got Goodyear tires on it, some skinnies in the front, some fatties in the back. And I think it's a pretty unique uh, looking, you know, 164 scale casting. I think it's actually quite nice. Rolls really well, too, for a green light. Rolls really well. So, awesome. All right, and then last up, finally, let's go ahead and open up this 68 Volkswagen Type 2 T2 Westphalia Cantlebile. And this is from V-Dub Series, which series? Series 4. So, I think they're on Series 5 now, which is the one that's coming out in stores. I don't know. I haven't seen it out anywhere yet. But Series 5 is coming out, and uh, this one's from the previous series, which I do have all the regular castings, and I think this is the only green machine I have from that release. Or actually, no, I think I have two. Anyway, all my green machine buses are loose, so uh, I couldn't leave this carded. I thought about leaving it carded, but I'm like, well, all the rest of them are loose, so I'm going to put this with the other ones. And, I don't know, I may kind of just go after greeny buses green body ones though I don't really care so much about uh, the green wheel green machines I wish they all were green body green machines and this one looks awesome so doesn't roll very good but that's about 70% of green lights for you and uh, but it looks really cool so there is that. All right, so I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, thank you again very much for watching. Dig that uh, y'all enjoy these videos. I know I'm on like, I don't know, 60-something of these weekly videos now, and I'm just not, I'm not going to stop. Um, even if I don't find something during the week, of course, I always replace it with some other content, something fun to show you, whatever. So, yeah. So we're just going to keep her going. All right. Well, you guys have a great week. Hope you find some cool stuff. And we'll see you in the next one.